Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariella Stolp and today I'm going to dive into mixed media. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I have a special place in my heart for water-soluble markers, for watercolor pencils, but today I'm going to do something totally different. I'm going to use crayons and acrylics and inks, embossing even, and last but not least, collage. And the collage papers that I'm using are collage papers that I designed myself. And they look like this. We have this sheet and another one with bigger chunks. And these are not for sale. You can't download them. They are my gift to the students that will join us on Lifebook 2019. As you may know, I'm one of the teachers this year on Lifebook and I will be back uh, next year, which is re really, um, ha I'm really happy about that. So I thought, um, well, you can use these collage papers in your planner or your bullet journal, but I thought let's do an art journal page using them as a background layer, as a first starting point for a, for a cute uh, journal page. And I'll show you how I made this page starting starting with the collage papers and um, this is the end result and um, I hope you like it. Um, if you don't know Lifebook just yet let me tell you something about that. Lifebook is a year-long art course it's organized by Tamara Laporte from Willing Arts and she has invited I don't know maybe 30 teachers or so many people and uh, they will join us and have an amazing program lined up for you so if you consider joining us for this well it's I think it's one of the biggest uh, art courses uh, online art courses out there if you consider joining us please um, if you like my work and if you want to see me do more ch videos just like this one on YouTube, please consider using my friend link. You'll find it in the comment box below. And now let's make some art. In this first step, I'm adding collage to my background. I'm using my collage papers that I designed myself. These papers are my addition to the gift bag for every student registering for Lifebook 2019. So if you're joining us on Lifebook next year, you can use these for your project. But of course you can also use what you already have and love. I am using Liquitex Matte Medium to glue down my papers. An old brush for acrylics, a palette, scissors and a sheet of paper to protect my journal and my table. The journal I'm using is a ring-bound watercolor journal with heavyweight paper. In this journal I already drew a whimsical face. And as a little bonus for my viewers, I scanned it and made it into a downloadable PDF. If you want, you can download it and transfer it to your journal. The link will be in the comments below this video. This drawing is free for you to use in your journal and if you post your work online, please mention and tag me so I can see it. I really enjoy that. I've chosen some strips, circles and a bigger chunk of paper that I feel go well together. And now I'm going to glue everything down. 
I will work mainly on the background, but I don't mind if some of it goes into the hair or on the body. I do try to stay away from the face though. Because I printed my designs on thin cartridge paper, a liquid matte medium will do. If you use heavier paper, you will also need a thicker medium. I decided to add some washi tape and chose this one because it repeats the same colors. Although washi is already sticky, I'm still using matte medium to glue it down. When everything is dry, I cut off the excess paper. And then I'm going to bring back my drawing where it got lost under the collage layer. I'm using a pit pen for this in a matching color.
Here you see me working on the background a bit more. I'm filling in the gaps with distress crayons. These crayons are water soluble, but I will use white paint to blend them out. I start colouring in the face next. Unfortunately, my camera had a storage issue and I didn't notice it turned itself off. So you missed seeing me apply this first layer of acrylic ink. But no worries, later layers are applied in exactly the same way. I dip my water brush in the ink, put the tip of my brush where the colour should be darkest and then I blend it in.
time to change to my paint pens. With these pens I'm going to color her eyes, lips and cheeks, work on shading and highlights and do some mark making. Some of my line work got lost, so I reworked the outline with a pit pen. These pens are waterproof once dry, but when wet you can blend them nicely over an acrylic background.
See these sun-shaped doodles? Well, I didn't like it and covered it up later, so I skipped that bit. Time for some mark making, and once I start, I hardly can stop. I want a bit more color on my background, so I go back to my distress crayons, but this time I use them as is. No diluting with water or paint. They are so soft that you can easily blend them with your finger. And there you have it, covering up my sun doodles because I just didn't like it. Still not happy with my sun, so changing it again. Sometimes I can really get stuck on just one element and change it over and over again. That's okay, it's just a journal, it's just practice. And then I know, this girl needs some gold. So I take out some stamps and embossing ink and powder and add a touch of gold. I'm not very good at stamping, so don't expect crisp lines, but that too is okay. <laughs> 